What's up YouTube and welcome back into the final of the Krenum Imperium 10 episode challenge. So we finally made it. We've had a few uh, ups and downs on the way. Um, cough, cough, Malon. But uh, you know, we've made it to the final and the Borg haven't assaulted us yet. Now they've pretty much taken on everyone else as I can see. I mean, look at the size of them. They've really made it all the way down here into Romulan space. I wonder who they're at war with. Let's have a look if we can. Your species um, so I don't think we're at war with anyone. Him. So that's, I mean, that's just a Borg for you. In, a, in an instance, they could just turn on whoever and boom, they're taking them out. But they're pretty big. They're pretty scary. Uh, if we just pop back, we are they the are Borg. superior to us. They're not as scary, though, as the Dominion, who did some pretty Russian stuff in the last episode. They sat on the borders of the Malon here with all of their might pretty much just showing them what they are made of and what could possibly happen if things weren't to go their way and of course the Malon said well have whatever you want you just take what you need and uh, that's exactly what they did they took what they needed and they um they just went about their business in a different area so happy days they they finished that war so anyway, in the meantime, I have got the time ship and it is complete. Here it is, the time ship. And we did put um, Anorax in it. We did get him as an Admiral, remember? And the really cool thing about this guy is that he is immortal. He has a plus 200 year lifespan. So even though he is 77, that's fine. It's awesome. And as you can see here, we have the wipe system from history. So um, the first thing we're going to want to do is take on the Zhao. And let's have a look here. We do have some upgrades coming and some extra ships. Um, so I think we might just wait. We're going to go at normal speed for a second. Vessels upgraded. But then again, we might want to get this party started. But first thing I want to do is just start taking the time ship because I think if it's anything like the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the, the, the planet destroyer from the Zindi. If you haven't seen that one yet, that 10 episode challenge, it's really, really fun. But the, the, the that ship there is really, really slow. It warps just fine, but just to get through the system just takes forever. So we want to go across here and then to there. So I think it's the Vidians. Oh, who's this? The Emperor. The Emperor is dead. Um, you can have the Millennium ship then, I guess. So yeah, uh, we're gonna take. We're gonna start moving it across now because it's gonna take forever. What can we do here? We could do some upgrades. It's gonna give us alloys back, so I'll do that. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Vessels um, okay, they want an embassy. We'll do that. Happy days. They've been upgraded already. That's fine. So Vessels maybe, upgraded. what do we have here? 12,000. Maybe we could take a couple of fleets if you've been upgraded. Just Vessels around upgraded. here. On these systems. Hopefully they don't just jump to this one. And then maybe declare war. Just so we can, we do want to claim this one here. Oh, we already have it claimed. So, uh, well, we're actually just going to destroy it anyway, so it doesn't really matter if we claim it or not. But yeah, just so we've got one going, we want to declare war on them now, don't we? We're going to drag the Malon into it. That's fine. They drag us into enough wars. So I think we should go ahead and get it going. We have declared war to safeguard our interests. Um, Just to make sure, who was that against? Yeah, just the Vidians. That's fine. Yeah, so we are still at war with um, the Terai, but... Hopefully that comes to an end. There's nothing more we can do. I think we have everything fully occupied. Um, everything down here is fully occupied. All right, we don't really need to worry about that. We can do our own tactical sort of stuff. Um, so what was I doing? Oh, yeah, we want to look at the, that one, actually. So we're minus 32. We could do a status quo, but I really wanted to um, have them as our subjects, basically, like the Talaxians. So... Let's see how we get on here. So all we want to do is get here and zap it. That's the first thing we want to do in this epic final. Secured. So let's keep up with our research and the rest of it. We are taking a hit on everything. But wow. Oh, we're miles over our naval cap as well. I didn't realize that. Um, We'll go with this one. The engineering there. Uh, the Vidians here. Presence exposed. They're going to come at us, but I'm not really worried, if I'm honest. Okay, so yeah, if you remember, the Kazon actually did do quite a lot of damage, and they took quite a bit of territory there. So let's keep an eye on our planets up here anyway. Right, things are happening. That's good. 
to come on back down here. Yes, because our fleet's out and about, you know, it's using a lot of dilithium as it's like canvassing the stars and all the rest of it. Right, let's just pop it up to fast speed. Where is it anyway? The time ship's there. It's 67k, guys. That's pretty strong. Now, I have seen Borgs, uh, the Borg fleets, which are bigger and faster. So we have to be careful with that. But the Malon Enemy can keep them busy exposed. and the Talaxians can Enemy keep them busy for now. Exposed. What have we got here? Oh, I didn't realise they were that powerful. I think they're more powerful than me. <laughs> well, they're heading for the Malon anyway. That's fine. We just want to take out our main objective from the very beginning was to take out Zal. And that's what we're going to do. What's this? The Talaxian. 218 military power. That's funny. But um, that doesn't mean the secondary objective isn't going to be fun because it's either going to be the Dominion. Um, I might go for the Founder's Planet instead because they're more overwhelming. And I know the time ship would work. I don't think it would work against Technology the Unicomplex. We've just done some um, temporal research there, guys. Station under attack. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's a tough one. It really is a tough one. Right, because we did do it. Maybe we should claim a few more systems, actually. We might as well have these places. Let's have you. Uh, we are joined down here. Malons. Space so I wouldn't mind attack. kind of getting through to Dominion Space. So if this is all the mail on here. Um, all right, I don't think we can grab any of these. We can get up here. So if we kind of go like... Where are we? Zero G research platform disrupted. Up there. Oh, I don't know. Why can't we do in these anyway? Cannot claim systems that are claimed by our war allies. Oh, okay, they've already claimed those. That's fine then. I'll just claim a few more. Let's have these. Two. Whoa, that is a lot, isn't it? No, I don't want any of those then. Don't worry about it. Right, anyway. Can we carry on moving? What is this? Where's the time ship? It's here. So let's get over here. Might as well move in on them. I don't think I need any of these other ones. They can just go back and cost me less money, I think. Um, return. Both of you return. We only need the one fleet and the time ship, I think, here. Just to get this objective done. So mining stations produce extra plus 10. That's great. Ship rep weapons range. Ooh, starbase capacity. That could be nice. Attacking enemy um, vessels. But I think I might do this because that range is pretty tasty, actually. Coming to the end of this 10 episode challenge now, so we don't really need the extra star bases, do we? Yeah, so look, this this thing here. Have a look at it. It is slow. Slow, slow, slow. Uh we've got a general that's died. Is that our transport fleet general? No, it must be one that's sitting in the pool. An embassy? Yeah, we do that. We keep up with as much as we can. Um, they have rejected the Dominion. Unlucky, you guys are probably going to get hammered for that. Everything else is looking good there. Alloys is a problem. A big, big problem. Uh, the plus, we're now on that because they've just docked again, I guess. How are we doing with our edicts? Can we do anything here? Is there anything obvious that I'm missing? Research grab. Yeah, we could do that again, I guess. Nothing else, though. Well, who's dead now? An envoy. Who is that? The Kazons are going after us. Whatever. If they want to do that, then I will just zap them back into the Stone Age as well. If they want to play it like that. But I wanted to hit someone really good. Someone really, really powerful. Hint, hint, Dominion. But then again... Unicomplex 1 is right there. We could go after it. But if we can't do much with it, then I don't know. But I bet you you're all interested to see what the time ship does against the Unicomplex, aren't you? Technology Will secured. it act like a planet? Like I said, the devs don't really know. Um, let's go with the combat warp engine. Is that another, is that another general? Let me just check that down here a minute, guys. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Have you got... Are you building a district? You're not, but let's just tag one on the end there. It will get there eventually. Um, you. 
No? Okay. Okay, okay, whatever. Right, time ship. You are there. That's good. Right, okay. <laughs> Here is the planet we want to take out. Wipe. Look at that. What does it say? Wipe the system from history. Oh my word, I love it. So, let's get going. Let's get rumbling here. You guys just protect me best you can. I don't think we're going to have a problem when it comes down to that. Kazons. Oh, look, the Kazon has declared war on the Vidians as well. That is so funny. And they're claiming on us. Do they want to be next? Honestly. What are they like? Um, Not going to use any more alloys because we need to use save those for now. Right, here we go. Oh, nice. Oh, I like the effect. That was pretty awesome, doesn't it, guys? It did really well with that. So, let's just... Do I want to click on it? Yeah, there we go. We can see the percentage of it now. So it's kind of doing its thing. Just have a few more seconds of looking at it like this, and then we'll check what's going on in the war. Then we'll come back to it. You guys are doomed. Doomed, I tell you. Right, we'll come back to that. They're probably going to send everything they got us. They ain't got a lot now anyway, so... That's fair enough. Advances in healthcare. I think so. Um, if we just click here, we can see where it's at there. Just push that one. No, okay, I'm going to have to do that just individually there. Let's go down to the time ship. Oh, we can see it there. Nice. So who is in... Okay, that's okay. That was no one, really. So we're going to take these guys out and then... We're going to have a little think on what we want to do. But this is the first part of the final. The first part. There's more to come. More to come. No, I just don't know. I don't want what... No, this is what it is, right? This is how it goes right now. If I declare war against the Borg and nothing really happens against the Unicomplex, well, we're dead. I mean, we haven't really got a fleet to be able to defend ourselves against the Borg. So I lose the time ship probably because they're going to come up. Take me out. But the Dominion, I know we can take planets out with the Dominion. But then again, can we get there? I did it with the Zindi. I managed to like navigate myself through Cardassian space. It was well hard, but I avoided all the big fleets. And I got to their main planet. Wouldn't that be epic if I could do that? Can I get through Hazon space? No, that's the problem. I can get through this space there but then that's a long old trek isn't it right anyway where are we looking here back to Zal mm -hmm. let's click into the system -hoo -hoo -hoo. right the build up is happening this is a perfect view for you let's just move the mouse out the way as well let's enjoy this moment guys the 10 episode challenge. All right. The, temp the temporal incursion weapon fired successfully. However, our calculations must have been incorrect. Our attempts to restore the timeline have been unsuccessful. <laughs> That's not what we were trying to do. And we have moved further away from 100% restoration. Yeah, we weren't trying to do that, so, uh, yeah, damn the timeline. Our foe has gained in strength as a result. Uh, the weapon fight successfully, however, calculations must have been incorrect. Um, damn the timeline. But we have completely destroyed the planet, correct? Hey, it's under attack. Oh, look, they're coming in last minute to try and save it. Oh, hang on. We're going to have to do it again, I think. We have to do it again? Zal 2, look. Yeah, we're going to have to wipe it out because they did. They became stronger. No, we all just want to wipe it out. Let's try again. Planet devastated. But it didn't, did it? Like they said, it just made them stronger. So it can have a backfire. Big time. So we're going to have to go again. <laughs> oh, that is funny. So yeah, let's go again. Let's leave it to it and and have a look, see what happens. Right, a bit of research here, research station output. Well, I can't say no to that, can we? Um, so while that does that, let's think about what we want to do here then. I'm just trying to navigate away 
of maybe getting through Dominion space. I mean, I'd have to cut secured. the long old journey all the way through here to get here, then get up into the Founder's Planet, if we were to go with the Dominion. Um, oh, nice. Ship weapons range. Advanced heavy escort prototype. Yeah, okay. Do that. Nice. Um, or we might just go with it. I might just go with the Unicomplex then. Take on the Borg as much as we can. Maybe we can put all of our forces into the Unicomplex one and sit there even with the time ship and uh, see what can take us on. See what happens. Even if we can't take out the Unicomplex, we know what the time ship does. But that would be pretty cool getting over to the Dominion Founders Planet. We could always continue this playthrough at a later date. We could come back to it, hopefully. Um... That is an option. But until then, let's just keep up on our own kind of work here. We need to get all the alloys back a little bit here. Certain things. How are we doing here? What am I low on? Dilithium. Yeah, big time. Right, refugees. Okay. Okay. Technology. Leader pool size. Not really. Let's go with a trade. Uh, the Borg. Okay, so we have a Borg Rebellion war going on. That's interesting. Where, is, where have they started up? Anyone see them? Is that them there? You think? Maybe it is. But anyway, that's, that's pretty interesting. It doesn't tell us where. Alright. Oh, nice. Upgrade Krenum. Happy days. And you need... What do I want you to have? Have you got alloys? You do. You need... Oh, damn it. Ran out of uh, districts there. Uh... Okay. Go with these. Two of them. Right, how is this doing? The time ship. Right. Uh, go to... Right, let's see, let's see if we can make a difference here. We can't stop until it's just gone wrong, basically. I'm not trying to make it go right. That's the thing. Um, we're almost there. Let's, we'll, we'll dive back in in just a second. Right, we've got the Talaxians coming from this way. How did they manage to go through the Kazon space? Crazy. Right, come on. Please just turn into Stone Age. Alright. Oh, our new world and forces are ready to join our fight. The Borg has a weapon fired successfully, and as a new timeline begins to settle the restoration of the Grenum Imperium, now closer to 100%. Oh, that worked. Okay. That's good. When it was raised, all boats of this planet belong to us. The temporal effect appears to be failing. Perfect. Great, so it's ours. It worked. So we wiped them completely off the face of their own planet on the second try. That's pretty awesome that you can do that. I love that little feature, how it did it. And uh, and here we go. We we, we own this <laughs> all. Oh, now look, it's ours. Let's just pause and uh, have a look what's going on here. That history has been changed. I love that. There's a bit of a bug where the two messages keep coming up, but that's fine. Um, This is going to help. So is there any... Planetary features that isn't. It's such a new birth, like the birth of a new planet, isn't it? So let's go ahead and put down a few things that we want on here. I would say some energy by the look of it. Where is the power plants? Am I going right by them? There we go. Let's get a few of those. Uh, food. We need everything really, but I'm not too worried about it right now because... Obviously, we're going to be doing something else. We're going to be doing something different in a minute. I think it was always going to be the Borg. And for the purpose of science, I'd like to find out what happens to the Unicomplex. So, poor fleet. Why have I got you? Did I get your fleets as well? Okay. Well, merge together. We are well over our naval cap now, but that's fine. We're going to need them for the, um, for the Borg fight. So, let's head on back over here and... Try and put some of these fleets together. The time ship as well. Time ship, just head over here for me. Because you're kind of on your own anyway. Um, 
you can head back to Krenim as well. Or just head home. Where's the home button? Return wherever you go. Um, and yeah, we will... We're going to take on the Borg. That's basically what we're going to do. Awesome stuff. Um, they have accepted. So, status quo peace. We didn't get what we wanted. It's only because our war exhaustion went to 100%. So, we will accept this for now. We also did accept the status quo with the... Um, the Vidians, which is fair enough. Um, the Norcadians, it looks like the Norcadians got what they wanted out of them, though. Um, let's just reject the mission for now. We don't really need to do it. Oh, there you go. Okay, so they took that space. That's right, it's still going over here. So, yeah, it just ended with the status quo. Um, we do want to do some law changes here. The vote to change enable free migration succeeded. Okay, good. And refugees are. Turning up. Has to do the protector rights. Uh, no. No, thank you. Let's get rid of all of that. So, in all that time, the time ship has only made it here. Receiving communications. Establish an embassy. Yeah, with the Tarai. Why not? Okay. We're going to go after the Borg. So, uh, what we want to do then is just continue basically as best we can. This starbase here once it's done with a destroyer whatever it's doing a cruiser we're going to want to downgrade it and get some of our uh, stats back up here things aren't looking too bad let's have a look at our buildings uh, we do need a city for you let's do that anything else an upgrade again on Krenim. perfect and you need a little bit of love maybe i could get you yeah everything's okay with crime and all the rest of it food's up a little bit so no problem there is that you done five four three two one happy days so let's downgrade you and see what that does for us as well hopefully brings things down a little bit probably not because i think it was probably just put these stuff up but it did a little bit actually i think it made it worse especially with the alloys um but no worries because we're going to be committed to this all-out suicide war um in just a moment when it finally gets down there let's get these up and running again there we go all right guys so we're back in business here and i think we've gone pretty much as far as we can go we have gone over our naval cap um i've brought a few things back here but while the ships are docked i guess although the time ship isn't that's finally made it down here um rest of it is not so great i think you know what i've been doing We've gone on really, really far, by the way. Um, but we just sell things here, which is keeping us afloat. So basically, you know, buy a bit of dilithium, 10,000 there, and then maybe sell a bit of that and let that grow again, and then buy more of the alloys or whatever we need, alloys or the dilithium. Because if we go to zero, if we run out of the alloys or the dilithium, it really does affect our ships. And if we're going to go up against the Borg, then we're going to need everything we can get. So I'm not going to buy any more. I think we've gone as far as we can go. I mean, we can, but I'm not going to. So let's head down here with basically everything we've got. Now, the Borg are going to come up. They're going to, they will take our territory. But, you know, all we want to try and do is hang on to Unique Complex 01 and see how far we can last. We are going to be dragging in the Malon and all the rest of it to the war. They aren't too bad. I mean, they've got a 30,000 fleet there. They've got 10,000. That's nothing to compare to the Borg, though. I've seen 90,000k fleets going about, honestly. So, I think we're just going to carry on here, let the fleets catch up a little bit. Maybe move on with them a little bit. It's kind of hard to keep them together. I mean, look look at this now. Boom. But we're, 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 try, we're trying to be as quick as we can in this war. So, I mean, we probably could just go to war and move the time ship forward now the trouble is if we go in their space now it kind of kicks you out uh when you declare war so you, you don't know where you're gonna end up being um oh it's a tough one they are on their way so i might just the borg will come again oh let's just do it assimilation defense war drag everyone yeah, else we in are the <laughs> oh god what am i doing right um let's go to that system straight away the rest of you are following good because by the time they're, they're gonna get there before this will that's why I'm already getting there. I could have, I suppose, got to the end of the system and then declared war. But enemy presence nah. exposed. Oh no! 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 Back up! Back it up! 
Okay, um, yeah. Uh-oh, this is not good. So you guys are on the way, so hopefully we can... Wow, 100k fleet. This is not good. This is not good. I can't believe they have a 100k fleet already there. Like, uh, let me just pause it a second. I need you to be, yeah, going back over here. Well, I did say pause. There's the 100k fleet. Oh, we've got 40 and a 67. This might be okay. Might be okay. They're coming straight at us. Let's just tone it down a little bit to normal speed here. Uh, the 6.8k, your con cannon fodder, I guess. Right, everybody engage. What have we got here anyway? Cubes. We've got a couple of cubes. Uh, spheres, pyramids. The Borg is adapted. Oh my word. This is scary stuff. Um, everybody go in. Go in hard. We're going to lose most of our fleet here, I think. Um, so do what you can do, I guess. It, once this engages, we might be alright. Yeah, look, there we go. We're bringing them right down, right down. They haven't adapted fully yet. This is why we're having so much joy. Great. That is a brilliant start. Love that. Right, carry on then, guys. We'll try and head to Unicomplex 1. Uh, these are all signs that they're 12.6. They're, they're easy to start with. Don't get me wrong. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Anti-Borg. Um, what does this one do? It reduces the ability of Borg drones to invade and simulate our vessels. Um, temporary armor penetration. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Situation and updated. the Borg analyzed the technology given our fleets more time combat before the collector adapts. So we'll go with that one. You can only go with two at the same time there. So that's going to help as well. We should have done that straight away. So we're up to like whatever it was, 20 or percent there on the adaptability. Uh, what are you doing? Why are you up there? Well, come on down here. Don't just hang about. Um, right, we did take a bit of a hammering there, but that's fine. Enemy assets. Right, you get in there and attack that. 29% uh, we're up to. We've got to be quick, haven't we? Well, I want to get to Uni Complex 1 and just like hold on. 30% now. Yeah, alright, alright. 32. Ooh. But, I mean, the time chip just takes forever. Enemy presence exposed. Like I said, you're, you 100k. 63k, 33k. Oh, this is crazy. Technology secure. What's going on here? I can colonize the planet there now. Oh, because we just did some migration, didn't we? Oh, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Uh, who do I want? Oh, my word. There's loads of them we can have. Let's go with the Praetor, 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 Praetor. <laughs> Why not? Uh, trained officers 10%. Yes, please. So we're back in our fleet cap for a minute. That's good. Uh, let's just buzz you out the way. Um, time ship's taking forever. Oh, my word. Look, all the 100k is going up there. We need to just get to Unicomplex Enemy 1 and get this exposed. done. Let's get this done. Can we... Hang on. Situation let's get updated. you and you joining together. Nice. Uh, the rest of it's okay. 30% there. Home project. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, so come on. Let's gather. I need to get everybody. Could go across and get this now. Uni complex one. I'll wait for just a second. Uh, what's happening up here? We got the 100k, haven't we? And the 60 odd k. Going through. I mean. Well, that 100k is coming back this way. It's going to catch my time ship, isn't it? But I need them all together. Come on, time ship. Seriously, what are you doing? Look how slow it is. That is the one thing you've got to watch out about these massive weapons, guys. I mean, look, that is going to be there before me. Before the time ship at this rate. You're going to try your luck at the uni complex. I don't think that was a wise idea. No, it's not. We can soften it. Ah, there we go. Finally in the same system. Right, are you coming this way? 3k, 3k. Where's that 100k fleet gone? It's probably going to appear at the uni complex, isn't it? Um, Do I risk it? Where's the time ship? You head over that way. I mean, you can handle the uni complex probably on your own. So, just want to... 
be aware of my surroundings here. Oh, let's put it back up to fast. Um, we're getting low on the supplies, so this is kind of where I buy a few. Like that. Right, yeah, you on your way. 63 versus... I might need the help of the time ship. Depends where it's going to go next. Enemy presence exposed. Uh, okay, they're going to go assimilate. Okay, you carry on. You carry on. I'm going for your uni complex, mate. How's that still standing? Enemy presence exposed. Um. Oh, is that the hundred k? Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is scary stuff. Oh no! Hang on. Sixty versus my sixty-nine k. Starbase. Retreat. Okay. It's a couple of cubes ascending at this star base. Let's see how we do. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's because they're still adapting. Oh, wow. No, no, no. We need to get to that uni complex and quick. We took out that fleet, though. How is the time ship doing? Are you near anywhere near the end? No, you're no end. Where are you? Is that the... Oh, Enemy no, that's just an asteroid. You need to kind of get around here, don't they? It's going to take such a long time. Technology secured. 100k. Colonization We're going to be up to 100%. Um, that they've adapted at this rate. Let me see. What am I doing? Why am I looking over here? I was looking over here for something. Oh. Technology secured. Yeah, that's all still active. That's fine. What's this? Research grants. Uh, I'm alright for a minute. Temporal torpedoes. Nice. Um, yeah, so Enemy that's going to probably, exposed. if it knocks out that, it's going to go for everything. It's going to, like, get my home planet a lot, isn't it? Um, but we're going to carry on. I just want to see what the time ship can do. I oh, know they're, they're coming this way. I might jump straight to that star base there, then. I'm not sure if I want to, um, I'm just thinking, where do I want to go? Do I want to maybe... This is a tough call now, guys. Okay. I might try and jump back there. Depending on what that does. Okay, I'm waiting for it to jump to the star base. I've got a feeling it will. No, 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 no. Stop. Pause, pause, pause. Come back this way. You can. Really quickly. Come on. Retreat, 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 retreat. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, we got a little bit of help as well from the Melons. Not much. Oh, it just got away from us there. Good. Now. Time ship. How are you doing? It is down here. So let's just... Okay, it's jumping. Alright, it's jumped there. That's fine. You carry on. Let's just carry on trying to go after the um, uni complex here. I need it to... I need the time ship to jump. And then we'll follow. Yeah, I don't think it's going to do too good now, right? Probably not. Yeah, look, the shield's going down big time. That's going to absolutely rip through all of our systems. But whatever. Savage Hordes touching down. It's so slow. Come on. Please, time ship. Come on. Yes. Right. Join it. Because this will probably come back after us. Yeah, it will. Good. Okay. Where is it now? Oh, it's kind of already in there. Right, that's it. Back it up. Back it up. Let's go in. Let's get this place. Do your thing. Right, are you keeping that busy for like two seconds? All right. Fair enough. Um, Savage hordes touching down. All right, we've got that for a second. Where are you going? All right, you're... What are you doing? Yeah, get over here. Are you coming over here now, Mr. 100k? You are. Right, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Just pause a second. Oh, you've engaged now. You might have just destroyed yourselves, fleet. We might be able to damage it enough for the time ship to finish it. We're hurting the shields quite a lot. What are we up to? 55. All right, ideal, ideal. We got rid of that 100k. That's a couple of 100k fleets that we've got rid of now. Just hang about here for a minute. Right, go away, go away. Right, time ship. We wanted to see what you can do. Wipe system from history. All right. Let's try and do it. Uh, the rest of you. Can you... Stop at the star base? Into orbit. And will you be able to heal... Yep. Good. Heal up. You are doing. Right, keeping an eye on incoming fleets. I told you there were some 90k ones. They're even bigger than what I thought. Um, oh, let's just pause it for a second. Um, this is so intense. I love it. No, not claims. What am I doing? Edicts. I want the same ones, I guess. They run out fast, you see. Um, all right, what's that? It's a 38... 48 and a 44. If they engage all at the same time, you see, then we've got problems. Big problems. But it looks like we can kind of do it. We're starting to do it. So this is going to be interesting. So this is for the developers. All right, guys. Let's see what happens. Just keeping an eye on all the rest of the things as well. Oh, we haven't even unpaused it. Sorry about that, guys. Um... Keep it going. They're coming. Right, everything's repaired. Ooh, the best we can, I guess. Let's merge you guys. Um, can we upgrade some of you? Maybe try. Well, we are in the plus and the alloys, but I'm going to need to buy some more now. Alright. Uh, marketplace. You sell. Let's buy some. Okay, what's this? 70%. I really want to get these unicomplexes gone. Uh, who has? Scientists. Not really bothered about them right now. Go with you. They're not really doing anything anyway. Go there, go there. And you, where are you? You just go over there for a second. Right, troops are moving in at the Borg to assimilate. Game pops. Uh, time ship is getting there. Ever so slowly, though, right? Ever so slowly. Technology secured. Did they take our star base? They did, didn't they? The really good one. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe then they will plasty. Maybe if we just give it a little pause here. Hmm. Do what we can with it. All right. Fence grid. And where's the shields? Shields. That one there. What about you? You've got shields and already that, so let's do that. Alright, so how are we doing down here, time ship? Come on. The mission is simple, guys. Survive and protect the time ship long enough to wipe out the uni complex. Um, maybe even both of them, if we can. But they're gonna be coming at us big time, man. Big time. What have we got? They've got the Malon frantically coming in and trying to help. Which is keeping them off our backs. They're Enemy up to 61% now. Exposed. Supplies and all are low. We'll deal with that in just a mo. Um, 61, yep. Yeah. Enemy presence exposed. What's coming? The fleet. Well, there's no one being reinforced right now. We do need some reinforcements reinforcements don't we uh there's some work to do on the planets as well i guess that's not really due to unemployment is it it says it is but it's probably down to crime and things no it's not bad maybe it is then um well let's get a water ice cooler then okay what are we up to 62 percent we could have uh done a bit more with that but i was kind of just in the middle of this here 
How are we doing here? Where is our time ship? It's getting there. Oh, it's about to do it. Okay, restore the Imperium successfully and restoration of the Crown Imperium is now good. That worked. And we got some ships for it. Oh, perfect. I love this time shift. There we go, look. So let's get that and that. And it made us even stronger. Um, go like so. In fact, I get you, you, and you. Can you all join together? You can. Brilliant. Uh, right, time ship. Quickly. Over here and wipe that from the universe. Oh, great. Look at this. This is perfect. I mean, we've got one of them, but that still says Borg. So we're going to do all of it just to make sure. So let's have a look. All right. <laughs> Happy days. Look, we've got the uni complex here. So this is what it does. So for everybody wondering what it would do, I think it's pretty... Um... Oh, hang on. We could recover the resources or preserve the technology. Relics found go or the Borg Queen. We get that anyway. So we've got the Borg Queen. This is brilliant. Um, it cannot be sustained so long as the uni complex remains intact. So let's go. Let's let's just think about the law here. All right, guys. So what we've done is we've sent the time ship over. We've managed to take control of the system itself. And we have used the time ship instead of actually landing troops. We've used the time ship to wipe away all the Borg. Is if like we've basically resetted it back to the point where maybe it was it was um, manufactured the whole the, the the complex itself was made so no Borg has stepped foot out, like on it yet if that makes sense so it's just nothing there so basically we own the uni complex from scratch so well what do we want to do with it recover the resources I think so does that mean that yeah, is it gone? Receiving we still do own it as well. That's pretty cool. Let's get Anti Hospital on it. Might as well. Um, a few of these. Because we're doing alright with energy and things. Is there any alloys we can get on this? Yeah. Let's just do that for a minute. Okay, we're hitting that one up now. So we're doing the same again. We're basically going to wipe all of the Borg off of the Uni Complex. See, in the future, I'd like to see the devs. Um, it's actually, it's an idea from one of the viewers called Philip, actually. And he's pretty good at these uh, these stories, which, he's, which he makes up. And uh, actually, it's quite law related. It, we'd like to see it kind of um, just disassemble it. So it disappears. So that section goes completely. That section goes completely. And we just completely wipe the whole uni complex from the system. That would be really, really cool. But as it stands at the minute, we're just going to have to go with our own law and that it's just basically wiped all of the Borg off of the uni complexes and it allows us to use them like a planet, basically. I mean, you think about it, there's four, one, two, three, four, five planets that the Borg start with in one system here. Now, if that's not overpowered, I don't know what is. What are you doing? Is this our reinforcements? We'll get over here then. We want to stay at one system if we can. Sphere of influence expanded. Oh, nice. Oh, what do we get on this planet? Enemy presence exposed. Oh, just what we needed. And a Xenozoo. Okay, ideal. We'll go with that. A relic as well. Still going. Ooh, mega structure build speed plus 20. That is brilliant, isn't it? The skull of the Borg Queen. Look at that. That is such a cool relic. How many times have you guys seen that complete. in a playthrough where somebody's taken the uni complex on Grand Admiral against Enemy the Borg and we have the trophy to show it? Is this a first? <laughs> I mean, complete. has anyone else done this? I'm not sure. I know Jamie plays. He does, he does play as the Borg, but has anyone taken the Borg on camera? I'm not so, so sure. Right. So it's a great achievement, and I really am happy that I've, I'm, I'm, well, in the middle of accomplishing it. The they are equivalent now, again. so we are grinding the Borg down. And you saw that they were superior and the, the strength they threw at us. But we, what we did was we combined it all of our fleet power. You know, separately we didn't stand a chance. You saw how quickly our best star base went down after a uh, hundred k went in at it. And plus, they are adapting quite quickly now. Their ships are anyway. Enemy presence exposed. Well, it's probably going to 
take that back, is it? No, we've got an 18k star base there, which was the Borgs. Should be able to take care of it. Is it going to be brave enough to go on in? What is it, a probe? Yeah. Let's have a look at how it does. Exposed. No problem. No problem. Although it is... Do you know what they do? They send these little ships in just so they can adapt. I think we're going to be okay, though. I think we're going to be able to grab the Unicomplex 1 and 2 here at this rate. I'm not sure we're going to have enough time, though. Tactical retreat. Grab number 2. 100% uh, successful. Yes. Brilliant. So let's move on to the next one. And we got more ships. This, oh, I love it. This is... Recover resources, yeah. This is fantastic. Honestly, look at that. Um, let's get you. Let's get you all like that. Really, really cool, isn't it? That we're gaining ships like this. You need a leader. Let's make you better. Uh, yeah, let's get you. All right, you all do need to... Hang on. You, you, and you... Go dock at the stations. Here, please. Uh, enter orbit. Can we... Oh, we can upgrade this one then. Right? Is it ours? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Oh, look. We'll we keep the shipyard here then. We can do all sorts here. Recon and research vessel destroyed. Okay, who died? Scientist. Um, the Borg are adapting. Oh, we need that. We need that. 100% we need that. Right, the time ship's doing its thing. You guys, come on. Get back Enemy over here. Exposed. Into orbit. The Borg didn't make it to Krenum either. Did it? No. Oh. <laughs> ah, no. It is going to. There's a 57k fleet there. Technology secured. Taking out our star base by the look of it. It's going right by to Krenum. Ooh gonna uh, hurt there's nothing i can do really we need to just carry on the mission and then we'll go back for that trade value yeah okay oh it's going here now yeah it's gonna definitely should take out enemy presence expert. that star base yeah look at it eat through the shields there cubes are huge aren't they they are lush though didn't do bad Put it down to 37k. I'd like for them to go on swiftly to another star base and try their luck again. Um, yeah, so we are upgrading this. Yep, good. Let's keep buzzing things out the way. Oh, nice. People are declaring war on the Borg. That's going to help us out a lot, isn't it? Uh, what else can we do? Can we go... Are we going to lose Krenim? That's the question. Shipyard. Can we get a battle cruiser in right now? We can, but then we're going to lose all of our alloys. Naval capacity is up to plus uh, another plus twenty. Then was it or so? Enemy presence. Exposed. Free migration. Yeah. How many times have I done that? Fleet conscription. Where is it? There. And again. I think everything's okay with the edicts. Yeah, it's all right at the minute. Um, yeah, we're going to have to just see how we do. Hang Receiving on. Communications. Maybe. What's this? We will adapt. Oh, look. Someone wants peace. Prepare to be a symbol. Uh, no. Secured. Come on, Starbase. Hold out. Receiving communications. Yes, yes. Come on. Yes. Oh, there's more coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on over. Oh no, the ships aren't going to be too good. Right, okay. That's alright for now. Let's do some more selling. Oh, hang on. Before we do, we have a successful... Good, that's great. Let's just pause it a second. More ships. Perfect. Uh, where is the timeship? 
Home ship, there you are. We've got another one in here. We do, don't we? We've got another two. Well, while you're there, go straight for that one. Because it's just getting a ship. This is working out rather well. So, hang on. You merge. You two go back here into the orbit. All right, recover the resources. Yep, we needed that. Oh, that's just given us quite a lot. That's good. Sorted. And now... Um, you're all okay. This is perfect for getting ships, though. I'm enjoying this a lot. Um, how are we doing up here? You're going to keep trying your luck against star bases. Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, no. They've got long range ships. We're never going to get those. I think we might have to send... Do I risk it? Do I send one fleet? I think we can We can let go of one fleet to try and go and back up that station. Although you're going to have to go through that. That is a no way. No go zone there. Um, no. Can you go to there? To there? No. Go to there. Is that... Are these Borg? That's Borg. That's Borg as well. I don't want to have to take those star bases on to get back to Krenum. Uh, right, let's go up here to you, you, and then back to Krenum and try and defend Krenum. Yeah, do that. I think these two and the time ship can cope with whatever's going to come at us. All right, we had another successful um, blast here, which has made it 100% Krenum. So that's great. We've got one more to go. Now, remember, under attack. if we do this wrong and it doesn't work out, it makes the Borg stronger and Vessel they get a load of ships. Diminished. So <laughs> that's something that we're going to have to be aware of big time. Where is the time ship anyway? There. This is the last one I want to do for this 10 episode challenge. If we can get whole system under our belt. That would be great. But if they spawn a couple of massive fleets because we mess up. We will end oh, up. no, Borg. Oh, Prepare no, Borgie, Borgie. We are going to carry on until the bitter end here on this system. Um, edicts. Yeah, we've still got that. Probably not for much longer, though. Let's just carry on there. Uh, time ship. Right, you guys are there. You're there. Can you come back over here into Space orbit? And that fleet is back over at Krenim. It's not really going to be able to do a lot, but you never know. It might be able to fin Oh, by the way, I have changed a few things here as well on the star base just to make it a little bit more stronger. Hopefully, things will be all right. Uh, we could do that now. Maybe two of those then. A load of them. Oh, edicts are all coming to an end. Let me just... Uh, Rectify Enemy that. Right, you, you, and you. What else is there? The conscription, ecological campaign, yep. Anti Borg, we want that back up and running. There we go, that's all of them. Because we're out of influence. Anyway, right, so this is the last one here. Hopefully it works out okay. Can you. Nah, I don't want to upgrade you for all of those alloys. You're going to have to hang out just as you are. We've got two 30k fleets here and that one then. Um, oh, look. <laughs> the Lorians. They've gone for it. Where are they? They're here. What have you got? You might be able to do a little bit of damage. That's what they were waiting for, weren't they? They're moving across. Let's hope they don't get themselves assimilated. Attacking enemy vessels. So we're going to take this as a win if we can, if, if this last one comes in and we don't get smashed by the Borg by losing it. We will make them twice, eight times, a million times stronger, don't forget. Enemy presence exposed. Um, let's see, let's see. War exhaustion, that's good. Plus 20, we're both on 100%, so it could be a stalemate any minute now. So I really need to get this done. It's a race against the time now. How are we doing here? Okay, up there. You two, um, join up, horses, please. Good. That's a bit stronger, I think. 
Well, it was a 10k a second ago. Oh, I think it's, yeah, it will be a bit stronger again in just a second. Um, yep, just waiting for that. 2k. Anything coming in? Oh, there's 19 there. Oh, it's just a station. That's okay. No problem. Where are you two, transport fleet? You might as well see if you can go in dock. As well as you. Dock. Why aren't you docking? Not a bad star base now. Into orbit. I mean, they might as well, right? Same with you guys. Why do you keep popping out of orbit? It's so annoying. Into orbit. How's the station doing? Okay, you did upgrade. Might as well give you a torpedo launcher as well. Um, okay, good, good. I mean, the biggest, like, increase of military power is an upgrade, isn't it? Over, like, photon torpedoes or anything, I think. To be fair. Right, so this is the moment of truth. Will we get the whole system? Or will we spawn Borg ships? Let's find out. This is it. This is going to hurt the Borg, man. Attacking oh no, it spawned Borg ships. Look, 113k. Uh, well, everybody engage this. Engage. Damn the timeline. 113k, my time ship. No. How many of those did it spawn? Just the 114, 113k? Yep, good. Oh no, the time ship! Oh, the death of Anorax! The time ship has been destroyed! <laughs> the last uni complex, guys. The last one. Oh no. And there goes our fleets. What did it spawn? Like one of those Omega cubes or something? Wow. Did we destroy that fleet? Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Can we call this some kind of a win? Yep, we did get rid of that. We did indeed. Wow. Oh my word. <laughs> Recover the resources. Well, I think it did work. Yes, it did. We did do it and we destroyed what was left and it did become exposed. ours at the cost of our time ship. Yes, it did work. It just made them stronger. It spawned another Borg cube. The damage was done. It did become ours, as you can see. So it was a sacrifice for the greater good. I can definitely, definitely call that a victory, guys. What do you think? I think so. It's all of ours, look. The whole thing is ours. Does it say there? It doesn't say, but it will be fully occupied by the Krenim. Did we get them the down? They have gone in. superior now. Um, I wonder if that spawned more ships everywhere. I'm not sure. Oh, they will be superior because we lost our time ship, didn't we? Yeah, we did. But we did what we set out to do. And I don't know about you guys, but was that fun or was that fun? So we took out Zal and that was the main mission. We did that. And then we came over here and we completely owned the uni whole entire uni complex zero one. With the with the sacrifice of Anorax, um, he was great, a great leader. He, he did the job. He managed to get these. Um, he managed to use his time ship for the greater good. Because if you want to go for a bit of role playing, you know we've hurt them now, big time. They're not going to be as dominant as they once were in the uh, in the galaxy. We've hurt them big time. We've basically done a species eight four seven two on them. It's now time for everybody to rally up and take back what was, you know, what was rightfully theirs. So, um, yeah, I think we should this. This, this should be the start of something. He was a martyr, wasn't he? You know, this should be the start of something where everybody, everybody goes after the Borg now and takes him out as a little piece of it. So um, that is basically the end of the 10 episode challenge, guys. Now, though, I did want to show you what the rest of the galaxy was like, so I'm going to do that. So bear with me one second. Okay, guys, so here we are. We are in observe mode. So... Let's have a good look around and see what's going on. Let's zoom right out to start with. This is the, I wish I did this with the Zindi one as well. It's a good idea to do at the end of each of these 10 episode challenges to give you an idea of how we're going to finish. 
So looking at this straight away, I'm noticing the Borg with a lot of space. We already kind of knew that. The Dominion, very strong indeed. Let's have a little zoom in on those. Have a look what's going on. So they've pretty much managed to grab most of the Gamma Quadrant. I mean, that is something that they do anyway. Um, no surprise there. Not many people can hold the, the Dominion off. Same with the Borg, with the Delta. Not bad going. They did really well until they met the time ship, of course. We know how that little story, that little story in a faraway part of the galaxy ended, which was fantastic. Um, down here. Now, the Husnot didn't do too bad in terms of territory. The Klingons. Mm, yeah, they didn't do bad, I guess. Romulans. What happened? What happened, Roms? Hey, did you meet your match with the Borg? I don't know, but you didn't really expand much did you i mean you did try but people fought you back federation as it as of expected but zooming in actually they are completely occupied and under extreme pressure here from the klingons and the romulans so they look like they're in a real bad situation cardassians huge look at that they have expanded just how i would expand if i was playing them um, in fact, I am playing as them in my multiplayer playthrough with Jamie Plays. If you haven't checked it out, then do check it out. I'm the Cardassians, he's the Dominion. And this is how I would go about it all. Looking pretty good. Very good, in fact. Who have we got over here? Um, okay. Not bad. Uh, moving on. The Sheliak, yeah. The Breen didn't really expand much. So, there you go. That is the Galaxy... And that is how it finished. I hope you enjoyed that little observe mode there at the end of the playthrough. I think I might do that for pretty much all of my playthroughs if you liked it. So guys, that is it. We are going to be moving on to the next 10 episode challenge. Um, I've got a good idea on who that's going to be. I think you're going to enjoy them a lot and I hope you do. And I hope you enjoyed this one because I did. It was incredible. So please do give this one a big thumbs up for me, guys. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, then please do subscribe for some more Star Trek New Horizons action. We do hold a Discord channel. It's called The uh, Collective, funny enough. And it's a, it's a good bunch of people there. There's me and Jamie plays always. It's where we always hang out. So um, if you fancy joining us there, then please do. The link for that is in the description below. So guys, until the next 10 episode challenge, take care and bye bye for now. Make it so.